Democrats plan to not pay federal taxes to protest Trump. Hello everyone, Jen here, Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of Breitbart.com, and it says... Some Democrats prepare to withhold paying federal taxes in potentially the biggest tax boycott since the Vietnam War. The National War Tax Resistance Coordination Committee, which campaigns for federal tax boycotts, says that there has been a renewed interest in the war tax resistance following Trump's inauguration. On their website, it reads, quote, Something has clicked in the minds of thousands of people across the country. We don't want to pay for Trump's agenda. And it says, while many of the reasons people are fed up include extreme militarism, mass incarceration, police brutality, and mass deportations. And it was exciting to see that many new people are now contacting NWTRCC and wanting to organize in their community. It also says that the boycott has also attracted the interest of celebrities, with Mia Farrow saying, quote, I refuse to pay a penny of my taxes towards Trump insane insulting wall. So this is the tweet that this person called Mia Farrow. I have no idea who that is. Uh, it says, I refuse to pay a penny of my taxes towards Trump insane insulting wall. Hashtag I stand with Mexico. All right, whatever. Um, It says that in December, Time Magazine published a column entitled Two Million Americans Should Threaten to Not Pay Taxes, urging the approximately 65 million Democrats who voted for Hillary Clinton. And it says that it's to pledge that in the future, if a Republican wins the presidency with fewer votes than a Democrat for the third time in our era, we won't pay taxes to the federal government. California Democrats have already threatened to cut off the feds. By withholding taxes with former state assembly speaker Willie Brown claiming that the state could become an organized non-payer in the state of non-compliance with federal tax code. So, yeah, I do encourage the Democrats <laughs> to not pay their taxes. Now, let's see. Let's just see what would happen if these stupid Democrats do not pay their taxes. Let's just take a, let's just take a peek. All right. So if you don't pay your taxes, according to this article, and it says, what happens if you don't pay your taxes? IRS collection procedures for past due taxes. This is from the IRS, comes directly from the IRS. And it says the U.S. government expects you to pay income taxes to the IRS each year. Most Americans have taxes withheld from their wages, which helps to avoid owing to the IRS a large sum at the end of the year. However, self-employed individuals, independent contractors who do not have any or enough tax withheld may need to make an estimated tax payments instead. So there are, according to this article, IRS penalties for past due taxes. It says interest is compounded daily and accumulates on the owed amounts. The interest rate uh, is equal to the federal short term rate plus 3%. It also says that the late payment penalty is 0.05% of the owed amount and increases each month the tax remain unpaid up to a maximum of 25%. The combined penalty for filing, both filing and paying late is 5% of the tax owed. If you return over 60 days late, the penalty may be up to 100% of the tax owed. It says the IRS collection enforces action. Uh, They do a federal tax lien against something that is your property, like your house, your car, business, uh, savings account, you know, all that stuff that has something that you own, they'll put a lien on it and they'll try to sell it just to try to get as much money out of it, uh, to pay your IRS taxes. It says, uh, tax payment arrangements. If you cannot pay in full. Yeah. So that's if you try to pay back, but the Democrats are trying to not pay at all. So this is one thing that could happen. So if you, if all of this still doesn't, you know, put it in the mind of these Democrats to pay, uh, maybe this will will do it. 
It says, if you have overdue taxes, you could lose your U.S. passport. So this one comes courtesy of CNN Money. And it says that when you owe the IRS tens of thousands of dollars of past due taxes, you can expect to owe big penalties and interest, like we said before. And soon you can even lose your U.S. passport. Lawmakers are in a final stage of negotiation over a bill that is funding for U.S. highways and transport programs. One provision it could let the federal government revoke, deny, or limit a U.S. citizen's passport if the person owes more than $50,000 and, and is considered a seriously delinquent tax debt, including penalties and interest. So it says that it should go in effect on January 1st, 2016, which was last year. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Check out our previous videos that should be coming up on the right side of your screen. Click on them. They're interactive. They'll take you to the video you might want to watch. Give it a thumbs up and share it while you're over there. Check out the links in the description below. If you are new to our community, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking the red button below the video or the Golden Globe that will be coming up on your screen. We welcome you and hope to see you guys here next time. But until then, peace.